that was Peter Grimes, which earned considerable acclaim for being, as the TV Mail put it, a recording priceless and beyond criticism when it was shown first in 1969. So, just for a moment, let's have a look at what's in store for tomorrow. First of all, your hostess for Monday evening will be Mary Malcolm, who actually introduced me to an unsuspecting nation on St. Patrick's Night, 1951, breaking into a holiday to do so. Thank you, Mary. Now, Mary will be guiding you through such old favourites as the rag trade, Dr. Finley's casebook, the Mike Yarwood Christmas show, 1978, Horizon, Faulty Tires, and Late Night Lineup, which will be on the air each night with four of its original presenters, Joan Bakewell, Tony Bilbo, Michael Dean, and Dennis Tui. Ian Keel's producing, and he says, as always, Late Night Lineup will seek out items that are serious, controversial, comic, and occasionally even downright wacky. At 10 past 12 tonight, our final programme is the great Ella Fitzgerald in concert, first shown in 1965, and an absolute must for lovers of perfection. But now at 10.30, we present the last edition of That Was The Week That Was, introduced by David Frost, with Millie Martin, Kenneth Cope, David Kernan, Roy Kinnear, Bernard Levin, Al Mancini, Lance Percival, and dear old Willie Rushton. So, that's it from me. It's been great fun seeing you again, and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this very special week in television history. Peter Haig wishing you a very good night. <laughs>